Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to say greeting to you all out there in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever you are, listen to me, join me in the broadcast today as we proceed in the reading of the Bible, the book of Matthew chapter 14. To the name of the Lord be the glory in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So I welcome you all in Jesus' name. All over the world, I welcome you once again in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this moment as we read your word in the book of Matthew chapter 14. Take preeminence. Holy God, take over. Let your word have a place in our heart, in our memory. Take away every distraction in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Father. The book of Matthew chapter 14. I read from verse 1. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus. Verse 2. And said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show for themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias, sake his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have harm. Verse 5. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they came to him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the old sake, and then could sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. Verse 10. And he sent and beheld John in a prison, and his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it, and went and told Jesus. And when Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Verse 15. And when it was evening, he disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves visuals. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give you them to eat. And they said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the mother to sit down on the grass and to the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. Verse 20. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up of the fragment that remained twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men, beside women and children. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. Verse 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thee, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. 
And when Peter was come down out to the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Verse 30. But when he saw the wind bolster us, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched for his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. Verse 35. And when this men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased. Finally, verse 36. And besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Praise the Lord. So they were made perfectly whole. They trusted the Lord. They had faith in the Lord. And they were made whole. The same way today, if somebody trusts the Lord, have faith in the Lord, and no doubt the Lord will make you whole from every infirmities and afflictions that are beset you by your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So I want to tell you the book of uh, St. Matthew, chapter 14, verse. Uh, Verse 5. Verse 5. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him as a prophet. Herod would have put John the Baptist to death, but he was afraid because they called him or counted as a prophet. Why did he want to put John to death? Why did he finally put him to death? Because John rebuked him. That it's not good for you to take your brother's wife, to marry your brother's wife. And Herod and Herodias and their daughter conspired to kill John the Baptist because he told them the truth. You know, the truth can only be told. The people that will do otherwise, the people do otherwise, but then they go bring them to judgment. Praise the Lord. What is the gain by killing John the Baptist? Nothing. Only pride. To show pride. To fear that the, the, the person that used to rebuke them for the evil of their deeds is taken away to the way. But did they escape man's judgment and punishment? Did they escape God's judgment and punishment? I don't know the area you are falling for God's glory. Amen. Before it is too late. Because God loves you and cares for you in Jesus' name. Verse 27, but straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good share, it is I, be not afraid. When they saw Jesus walk upon the sea, they thought it was a spirit, and they were afraid. And they cried out, and Jesus said, Be not afraid, it is I. Praise the Lord. So, and Jesus, Peter said to him, If it is you, Lord, bid me to come to the water. And he said, Come. And he gave them from the boat or ship and was walking on the water. And when he saw the wind blowing boisterously, he was afraid and began to sink. And he cried out, thank God he cried out to the Lord, and said, Lord, save me. And the Lord stretched for his hand, at that one, amen. Jesus stretched for his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? Doubt means distrusting God, not trusting God. Doubt, unbelief, faithlessness, will always interfere against faith if you allow it. If you banish them away, faith will flourish. Praise the Lord. Throw away doubt, throw away belief, throw away faithlessness, so you can enjoy God's blossoming grace and favor and blessings all around in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I want you to pray now. So, as we pray, I want you to know, to understand that the Word of God stands sure forever. And uh, as we read the Word of God daily, Guarding the daily manna. The Bible says, Man does not live by bread alone, but need the word of God to live. As you read the word of God and then act on the word of God, we shall always get results, we shall get answers, we shall get directions, we shall resolve, it will resolve controversies, doubt, uh, crisis, and riddles. Praise the Lord, because the word of God 
is powerful, sharper than good of any edge of sword. The book of uh, Hebrews chapter chapter four. Hebrews chapter four. Verse twelve. For the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a designer of the thought and intents of the heart. Praise the Lord. And the Lord said, the Lord, the Lord said, the, the Lord said, the Lord Jesus Christ said, the, the word I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. Praise the Lord. The word I speak unto them are spirit and they are life. So, praise the Lord. The book of John chapter 6. Verse 63, it is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the word of God will produce result, produce fruit, produce uh, so many things in our life, healing, deliverance, salvation, eternal life, and rational holiness of God in our life. Praise the Lord. So shall we pray now? Father, I thank you at this moment for giving the grace to read the word, the book of Matthew chapter 14. From the verse 1 to the last verse, verse 36. Father, take preeminence. Let your word permit our spiritual and body, brought to result, positive fruits, fruit of righteous holiness, fruit of eternal life, fruit of salvation, blessings, and breaking of yoke, and cut and and spirit in the life, in the life of men and women in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord for your answering. Receive your glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Praise the Lord. Until coming away next time, God bless you. And remember, bless in Jesus' name.